Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. It's Saturday morning. I got to head out to work, but I wanted to bang out this video before I left. Uh, it's been a hot week here in Wisconsin. Uh, miserable kind of hot. More like a tropical paradise. But please, I don't want to hear any more stories about how damn hot it is and Beads of sweat rolling down your ass crack, giving you a mild case of a monkey butt. It's just, I don't need to hear it. That was bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, that's bullshit. So, the garage makeover. Some people have been asking about progress, and I really haven't showed you a lot. Um, it, it's just such a mess in here. It's kind of embarrassing, but we'll take a look at what I got going on. So as you know, we've got the new garage doors, but now I have insulated walls. And I can already hear you, and I can hear you down in the comments. What the hell? He painted it black. It's not going to work. You're not going to be able to see anything. It doesn't reflect any light. I don't give a shit. I like black. It's my garage. That's the color I picked. If I want to put a pink stripe on it, I will. Paint your garage white. Put up metal, white metal on your walls so it reflects. It's all good. Here's the deal. How many of you guys that are watching this don't have an LED flashlight in their pocket right now or don't have five different fancy latest and greatest LED work lights that they can use to illuminate a project. To be honest with you, it's not that dark in here. This end is a little darker than the other end, but I just added these uh, 120 watt equivalent lights in the garage door openers and a 100 watt equivalent fluorescent light there's enough light here and if I decide I need more light I picked up these 200 watt equivalent replacement bulbs for my work lamp and we'll just uh, turn around here and I mean that's that's one there's the second one. I'm not going to have a problem seeing what I'm doing in here if I got to tear something apart. And the black walls make me happy, so we're going to leave it at that. Well, I did add some shelves back there. I got some lumber stored on top. I haven't filled the shelf yet. And then I have a space below it for full sheets of plywood or some eight foot banquet tables that I can pull out and use for projects in the garage. But this is my next phase is this wall over here. I have to tear everything off of it, fix it and paint it. I'll probably start that tonight. As you can see, I got a, a lot of blank canvas he, yet here to work with. I'm thinking uh, some kind of cabinet, shelf, tool rack, combo over the bench here. I'm thinking about maybe a Lazy Susan kind of deal on a corner of the bench for the drill press and the grinder and the sander and things like that. You might notice the uh, Yazoo sign back in the corner. Uh, I'm, I've had that sign for quite a while, it's brand new in a package. You know, it represents probably 30 years of working at various Yazoo dealerships over the years. So why not hang it up there? It isn't doing any good sitting in a cardboard box where nobody can see it. Kind of interesting story about that white stuff on top of that shelf there. Turns out that's uh, extra aluminum siding for my house. I've been here like 22 years and uh, I didn't know I had that until I started cleaning out the garage and 
what I thought was just a shelf in here that I was stacking shit on turned it out to be extra siding. So uh, I got that going for me. Uh, I think that's probably enough of an update. You get a general idea of what I got going on here. I did, let's see. I did paint the um, the bottom four inches of the block here because I'm going to paint the uh, floor hopefully close to that same gray color. And I didn't think I had enough paint to paint all them blocks because they, they did soak up the paint pretty good. So I went and bought some separate paint for that. Now I'm using it for trim as well. And I'll probably paint that tool board over there with the same gray color. And then uh, maybe I'll get a little bit of that light refraction. You guys are all complaining that I need. So there you have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's your weekly garage remodel update. Thanks for watching. Later.